The world of mushroom hunting is competitive. You don't tell people where you're going. Jackpot that's that's right a two there. pounder. And full of adventure. What are you guys doing on my property? Shit, this guy's got a gun on him. I'm scared for my life. Mushroom hunting is not easy money, it's tough. There aren't any truffles here. Not everybody can be a professional mushroom hunter. I'm certified, I'm trained to do that. In this business, quality, quality, and quality. It's matching wits with Mother Nature. I had a great spot, but Mother Nature took it away. We're in trouble. To do this, you have to love it. Chris Matherly and Tom Wipert of the renowned Mushroom Hunters want to make some extra money on their next trip to California and decide to check in with an old customer. Hey Dusky, how you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Great. We're actually going to be out your way this weekend to do a foray and some other mushroom hunting. You're one of our good customers, you know, we'd like to, like to please you. I rely on Tom to be our businessman and make us money for the team. I cannot believe that you're going to be here right when I need you. I'm in need of a bunch of mushrooms this weekend. Yeah, good. She's and some local guys. Whoever brings me the best mushrooms will get the business. That sounds good, some local competition. Yeah, we'd be willing to do that. Thank you. Challenges like this are pretty common in, in this industry. Well, let's get the team together and saddle up and get a move on. Let's do it. We have the best team in the country. The buck stops here. I'm the leader of the mushroom hunters. My specialty is finding the mushrooms. Tom, he's our businessman. I'm ruthless. I want to make that money. I want our team to be the best. Lavina is my organizer and motivator. Sometimes mushroom hunters need a kick in the butt. Dave is the, our problem solver. I always consider myself as the mechanical genius. I can come up with a solution to a problem with what is around me. Toby, he's the truffle king. The truffle season stimulates me in some way that nothing else does. Appa is the best truffle dog in the country. Appa finds the truffle. He lives the mushroom hunter lifestyle. We've been involved in many mushroom competitions and we've never lost. I'm excited about having somebody else to mushroom hunt against. When they lose, then I'll be able to probably buy their mushrooms from them and go sell them to somebody else. Because that's how ruthless I am. I'm Dusky Estes and I'm the chef owner of Zazie Restaurant and Farm. We were voted top restaurant in Sonoma County this year. I like to see who can bring me the best fresh mushrooms. The local best are these guys called the Alcatraz Boys. They call us the Alcatraz Boys because we work on Alcatraz. I've been mushroom hunting as long as I can remember. I'm a third generation mushroom hunter. It runs in my blood. We got this other team coming into our territory, our house. They're known around the country as being one of the best. I'm gonna prove that we are as good, if not better than them. Right now we're gonna meet up with Dusky and we have an opportunity to make some money, but we gotta make back our expenses because it wasn't cheap getting out here. So nice to have uh -huh. you in the house. Yep. Thanks for coming. You have 24 hours to come back with 80 to 100 pounds of foraged mushrooms. The mushrooms I really need are chanterelles that I'll pay about 10 bucks a pound for, black trumpets All right. that I pay about 15 bucks a pound for, okay. candy caps, 25 bucks a pound, okay. and any other exotics, about 20 bucks a pound. What about truffles? Truffles? I haven't seen any out here. Well, we've got the truffle king with us with the truffle dog. If there are truffles here, Appa's gonna find them. Mm -hmm. So this is the competition <clears throat> right here, huh? You don't know who you're dealing with, man. We know every spot around here. Every spot? Every you tree, know every with, mushroom. Baby. Yes, Good luck. <laughs> With $500 in travel costs, Chris and Tom discuss angles to make back their money, and then some. What about our expenses? Here's what I'm going to do. You know we're going to be the Alcatraz boys, and then I'm going to go line up a couple other restaurants, buy the Alcatraz boys mushrooms, mark them up a little bit, and go make us a profit on it. I got it under control. All right. Man, I've I taken care of it before. We'll take care of it this time. All right. That's the game. I have a couple spots that I've been scouting. I know the mushrooms are going to be there, and I believe the outer state team won't know that. Clock is ticking. I just know we need to go to Salt Point. I'm looking for specific trees. I'm looking for weather conditions. I'm looking for moisture in the ground. I'm thinking we go to Salt Point right now. That is way up there. I mean, what are you talking drive time? It's an hour and, hour, and hour and a half drive, but you know, we've got to go where the mushrooms are. Now I say stay closer. I want to go up this ridge over here and look for some truffles, man. The truffles okay. are worth a lot of money. I'm going to make an executive decision here. We're going to Salt Point and that's just how it's going to be. Sometimes people aren't always happy with the decisions I make, but I always come out a winner one way or the other. 
The Alcatraz boys use their home field advantage and are the first team into the forest. We love mushroom hunting because after a long day on the rock, you know, we've been standing on concrete all day, we get to go out into mother nature and we're making extra money doing it. 80 pounds is, is gonna be a tough challenge, but I've been scouting these spots. Hopefully the, the weather the last week has been good enough to where we should find the right amount of mushrooms. Need more rain, man. Yeah. Yeah, everything I'm finding here is just too dry. Yeah, we usually find these candy caps here. They should be here. I think we might have to go out to the coast, you know? I had a great spot that I had prepared, but Mother Nature took it away, so now, now we're stuck and we're, we're in trouble. With the pressure of missing a big payday and no mushrooms in hand, the Alcatraz boys head to the coast to look for moist conditions. As the mushroom hunters head to Salt Point, Chris is worried a recent weather change might hurt their fortunes. I've got a lot of concerns right now. I don't feel good about enough rain. I, I just don't know if the mushrooms are going to be there or not. Everything was fine a few days ago, but now uh, all of a sudden these Santa Ana winds come in and 80, 100 mile an hour winds and it's blowed trees down and it's dried things out. And you know, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned with the weather conditions right now. I don't know how he's not confident. He's the best mushroom hunter in the country. It's irritating. So I will motivate him to win. If we don't win, I will kick your ass. <laughs> Chris is probably the best person that I've ever met in my life. I do love him. Tom heads out to sell mushrooms he doesn't have and puts the mushroom hunter's reputation on the line. My teammates are counting on me to make that dime for them. We're gonna have about 80 extra pounds, I know. Definitely. Not everybody can be a professional mushroom hunter. I'm certified, I'm trained to do that, and that's the pitch I can give when I go into a restaurant. I'm in like 13. 13 bucks a pound? Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we could work with that. For the mushroom hunters, things are starting to look up. See these trees right through here? These are starting to look a lot better conditions. I have to stop and see what I can find real quick. It's gonna give me an indication of what's up ahead. If we're gonna really have to, you know, bust our ass or if it's gonna be easy to find 100 pounds of mushrooms or what it's gonna take exactly. Hey guys, come on up here. It's starting to look a lot better up this way. This is a, a very tough industry. Rugged conditions, all sorts of dangers, running into wildlife. I have been shot at. I've been injured so many times out foraging. Mushroom hunting is not easy money, it's tough. Yeah. There's an Amanita species there, and it's still young. Is it edible? No, that one's not edible. It's probably pretty poisonous, but we got the right kind of trees here. I think we're starting to get into a better area. Hey, what are you guys doing over here? What? Shit, this guy's got a gun on him. What are you guys doing on my land? This is private property. We're not doing anything, you know. We're just, we're, we're just scouting out the area. Uh, we're getting close to the state park, and. You know, we're up here from out of town, you know, looking for some mushrooms and stuff. But so. you completely crossed your boundaries. This is private property, mm -hmm. and you're on my land. Okay. And I'm, nobody well, gave you permission to be here. I apologize. I didn't see any you know, no signs posted. No trespassing signs so. or anything. So, I no. mean, we didn't know. I mean, we'll get off of your property right now. Okay. Well, I think that we better escort you off the property tonight. What do you think? We're freaking lying, dude? Okay, listen. You're on private property. Do you think we're freaking lying, I man? don't care if you're lying or not. Hold the gun. Lavina is out of control. I'm going to escort everybody off. Let's go. All right. All right? I don't know what your problem is, dude. And I want you out of here also. I'm going. Let's Do you go. see me walking? I'm afraid she's intimidating this guy. She's putting me in a bad situation. Don't come back. Something was going on out there because there, there was no reason to be that determined to get us off the property. Look, it's getting dark. We haven't found a single mushroom. It's... Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to pay for my trip, dude. I'm worried as hell right now. Everybody's pissed off at each other and irritated and everybody's afraid that we're gonna bomb on this thing. We got zero pounds of mushrooms right now. We need a hundred pounds. We got to get our asses in gear tomorrow and their mushrooms better be there or, or we've lost a bunch of damn money, that's for sure. With the prospect of losing their investment, Chris needs to rally his team on this make or break it day. All right, everybody ready to roll on this thing? I've never lost a competition. 
I'm not going to lose this one either. My team gets the job done. We've got to get in here and get it figured out. We've got to win this thing. There's no alternatives. This is a new day. we got stuff to do. We, time, the we, we have stuff to do. This is urgent time right now. Okay? Do you really want to lose to those local boys? I'm not going to lose to anybody. Everybody, let's go. Right now, let's rock this thing. Right now. All right, let's go. Come on. Truffles are what everybody wants. That's what we have that most people don't. We have a dog. It really would be sweet if you could run your dog for a little bit and see if there's any truffles out here. The record is $330,000 for one truffle, one mushroom. You gotta roll the dice and gamble, and that's the name of the game. With a lot of money on the line, the Alcatraz boys hope Mother Nature will be on their side. This coastal area here is probably the best hidden spot for mushrooms along the California coastline. This should be good. Lots of moisture on the ground. Much better than inland. Way better than yesterday. Oh, yeah. Today's, today's the day we got to win. Our foraging style, we're like ninjas. We do everything quick and silent and get our mushrooms and get out. Here's a silius. One of the edibles. It's not in the best shape, but it's a good sign that we're going to find some mushrooms here. Oh, here's some black trumpets. Oop. Here's one, here's another one, and then usually you follow where the water goes. It'll probably run all down this hill. So we're looking for the trumpets like that. Yeah, this is here, some candy caps. Small little guy, I'm gonna put these baskets on. See the candy caps? And these, the little yeah, bevel caps. These ones here are deadly. These ones will make you sick at least, for sure. Have you puking and pooping for three days. And this is one of the most highly prized mushrooms. And you can see how people can, can get confused because they'll grow side by side. There's probably 10,000, 10,000, at least 10,000 species of mushrooms. I'd say 100 of them are edible, 100 of them are known to kill you, and everything in between is unknown. As the clock ticks, Chris is betting his experience will pull the team to victory. What makes me the best in the industry is my knowledge of all the different plants, trees, and all, this, all the mushroom species. The bully? This is a big bully here. That's but nice. I'm afraid they might have worms. The worms have gotten up in the stem and started deteriorating. Quirk. Yeah, we're just not going to save this. Where's your knife? Are you hey, pulling those I up? Just... For real? You your can't knife. have dirt clods on them. That's what she wants clean mushrooms. I just started mushroom hunting. Chris has the knowledge, but I'm starting to learn. Just pinch it off. Pinches it off. You either pinch them off or you no, cut talk it. to me like that. You... Right now the clock is ticking and we've got to get on the, on the ball. Those are swirls right there. That slippery jack is a common name. This is a gumphus species. These are great. She'll love these. Mushrooms are the fruit of the forest. You don't want to just yank them up out of the ground. You want to slice them off nicely so you're not damaging the plant that's underground. Absolutely a keeper. There's some pink tip coal over here. There's a nice pink tip coal right there. Look at this one. Oh my God, that's a big one oh right there. Oh my God, that is that's a jackpot right there. That's a two there. pounder by itself. Oh, that's really fresh. Oh my God. Look at that. That is craziness. Toby and Appa search the forest for truffles. There aren't any truffles here. But come up empty. Meanwhile, Dave is back at camp building a rack to dry the candy caps, which adds to their value. I know how to use what is around us to solve problems. I'm feeling some air. Oh yeah. After a fruitful day of foraging, the Alcatraz boys assess their pickings. Here's our catch from this morning. It's uh, some good poundage. I'd say we're well on our way to winning this, don't you think? Yep. Go Alcatraz boys. With time running out, both teams head back to Zazu for the judging and what will be a big payday for one of them. We went way over the top. We have at least 100 pounds. We just got back and uh, mushroom hunters, are they're here already. Walking by these mushrooms, it looks like they might have more than us. But I don't think their quality is going to be as good as ours, so we'll see. I cannot wait for them to present. I'm very, very excited and I really need the mushrooms right now. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey. How was the day? It was good. Really good. Fantastic. Who was first one back? We were first back. <laughs> <laughs> so show me what you've had. We have a very wide assortment. We have 40 or 50 pounds of chanterelles right here. Nice and clean. They're all a little dirty. bit dirtier on the bottom though. We have 10 pounds of black trumpets. We got 10 pounds of candy caps. 
That's a pink tip coral. That looks like coral. broccoli. We got lucky finding that one. Wow, it looks meaty. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yep. Did you find a truffle? Not enough for us to bring to you. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. We'll see about the other boys. All right, what do we have? We got some exotic honey mushrooms. We got some oyster mushrooms for you. These are beautiful. We got some black trumpets for you. And we got some more chanterelles and hedgehogs, hedgehogs are mixed in here. Cool. Yours look a little bit dirty, mister. Yeah. I don't know. Less people. <laughs> and we don't have a cleaning crew. All right, let me cut some of these apart and see if any of them are really warm. I'm always a little bit afraid that there'll be a, a worm that gets through without us realizing it's embarrassing. Just got to check. I don't want to pay the top dollar for this thing and then be sad when you walk out the door. These are beautiful. Look at that. I love you've how never, it looks if like... If you've never had that before, you're going to love it. I'm going over to the Alcatraz boy right. size. Oh, look at that. That's some uh -oh. looking kind of spongy, wormy in there, dude. What's the deal? I don't know. <laughs> we, try to, we try to keep it clean for you. Oh. That kind of looks like somebody definitely had a good day, too. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. I think you guys know who the winner is as well as I do. The winner is the Mushroom Hunters. All right. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. We won. We actually won and took it to the hilt, man. Did you have any doubts? I had no doubts at any point. I had a few doubts, but we, we came through. I'm proud of everybody. I mean, when, our question to you is, um, we have, we figure 100 pounds. You yes. said 80 to 100, we could take all. I will take, I will take them all. All right, that's awesome. Yeah, totally. We kind of figured like 1,400 probably for. Mm -hmm. All right, 1,400 it is. Who gets the check? The baker baker. All right, thank you very much. You guys did it. Well, when quality came down to it, you know, yours were a little dirty and a little buggy. Yeah, we didn't have the manpower to clean them, you know? Tell you what, I mean, I can get rid of them right now, take them off your hands. We're gonna have to clean them and go through them. I think it's like, you know, maybe seven, seven bucks. I get 10 from, from most of my restaurants, but I gotta, I gotta wait on them. I gotta sit on them to get rid of them. I can only get rid of them That's a little That's what I'm saying, time. you gotta sit on them. So I was thinking I could give you seven dollars, you know, and sort through them and get the best ones out. If you buy them all, the lowest I'll go is $8. All right, I'll tell you what, we'll take, I'll take them all for eight bucks, but I want you to go through them and just take out the bad buggy ones right now and any dirt, real dirty ones for me. All right. All right. It's a deal. All right. Tom calls Chef Mall from Zinn Restaurant, who agrees to buy the mushrooms and sends a car to pick them up. Oh, so how much did we make? Well, it looks like 2100 after we're going to buy 2100 the mushrooms. 2100 Are you kidding me? When we stick those other mushrooms to all the All right, thing. give me five. We'll make 2100 Good job, man. That was great. All right. The mushroom hunters toast their $2,100 day. Not bad for a walk in the woods.